Hey guys, got level here, and today I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to make uh, custom emotes for your Twitch channel. Okay, so let's say you just got affiliated. You don't know anything about emotes, but you just know that you have the possibility to have three emotes for your channel, and you don't know how to draw, uh, and you want to make emotes. Okay. So I'm going to show you two different methods, uh, one using Photoshop and one using a free program, completely free. Both of those methods are going to utilize a picture of your face, okay? Because we all know that uh, face emotes in, on Twitch are the most used emotes anyway. So let's get right into it. First of all, I want you guys to take a picture of yourself, of your face, making a face. Um, you can even imitate certain uh, emotes from Twitch, like PogChamp, like... <laughs> Kappa with the smile, uh, lol, and stuff like that, and get it on your computer, okay? So first method with Photoshop, um, let's get right into it, let's just get uh, right into it. So here we have Photoshop, I've already taken a couple of pictures, and we're just gonna choose one, uh, let's go with, where is it, uh, this one, okay? So three things you need to keep in mind. First of all, your emote has, I don't know why I said three things, but your emote has to be a square, okay? It has to be a one by one format. So the first thing you're, we're gonna do is uh, crop this image in a way to, in a way so we can really see the face and it's properly cropped. Okay, if you want, I want it to be a little bit yeah, the head on to the left like that. Press enter, then double click on your background layer, which is your main layer. Uh, select the pen tool. I, I know I said the three things you need to know and then I just said one of them. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that. So we're, second thing you need to know is that um, it's gonna be super small. So you do not have to, to have like very details and be very uh, meticulous with this process. You can just click. You could have like rounder um, selections, but it's really not gonna be visible at uh, the size that it's gonna be, okay? So this is the second thing. And then the third thing is that uh, you're gonna need three different sizes of each emote. We're, we're just gonna cut this off. Um, and the um, first size is going to be, well, your emote at 112 by 112 pixels. So that's uh, the square emote. And then the second one's gonna be 56 by 56. And then the third one will be 28 by 28. Okay, so we have our, our selection here with the pen tool. We're gonna go top here, click selection, or you can right click here and click make a selection. Uh, feather radius, leave that to zero. We don't really need a feather. And unless you want a feather, you want a feather, get, get, get yourself a feather. I should really put my phone um, on <laughs> silent. Jeez. Okay, done. Um, now you can go down here and click on mask. Boom, you have your transparent layer. Now go top uh, left, we'll go to file, file, save for web, and you will enter your first size, which is 112, okay? So click here, let me go back. I already made a couple of those. Let me go back, make a new layer. Let's say this is the, uh, let's call it emote, who cares? And make sure you select PNG. Okay, mine is already selected. Let me go back to that menu again anyways. So the shortcut is Control alt shift s Make sure it's PNG24 because that's, um, that, that's what recognizes the transparency, okay? So this is 56 by 56. As I said, we can call this one 56. Boom, press enter when you're done. I'm, I'm using a couple of, of um, shortcuts to go faster. 28 by 28, okay, enter, enter again, type 28, enter again, and move. And and that's it, you have your you have your first emote. You have three different sizes, and this is what we're gonna go to Twitch to um, upload, okay? So where do you find that? Basically, when you go here on top, you can go either to dashboard or settings, just go to settings. Um, and it's, wait, where is it? Never mind. You go <laughs> top right, you go to dashboard, and then you click on settings here. And then you scroll down, it will say emoticons, and then you will have uh, different sub tiers. You have like the, the 499, 999, 2499, I think. 
and it will ask you for the three images for each emote. So right now we created one emote. Okay, so let's say, hey Gail, I don't have Photoshop. What do I do? I'm gonna tell you, hey, you know what? There's a little program called paint.net that you can download and use to do the exact same thing we just did in Photoshop. It's gonna be a little different because it's a free program, but it is still possible. I think we've made this under five minutes. Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna put the link below to download paint.net but once you open up paint.net you will see this little frame canvas whatever you don't care okay so just go back here find your image and open it up all right so now we don't have a crop tool we have a bunch of selection tools so go here and find the selection tool or you can press s and now you need to click and hold while you're holding shift so it's a perfect square. If you're not holding shift, it's gonna give you a weird re rectangle like that. You don't want that. Neither do I. That was a little Eminem reference. Okay, that didn't work for some reason, but uh, click. Why is it not? Okay, because I'm on subtract. Okay, so here you have different selection mode. I'm gonna click the normal select. And there we go. Now I can leave it. And once you have your selection, you can go here um, to the right here. It said crop to selection and click on it. Boom. It cropped it. Now you have to select the lasso selection tool or, or press S, okay? Make sure here it's an add union. That means every little selection you make, you can just add another one to it, okay? And now it's gonna be kind of painstaking, but with your mouse, you're gonna drag around the borders of your emote. And every time you're tired, you can just like let go and then just keep adding. Okay, I kind of messed up there. How do I undo? Yes, nice. Okay, try get it inside. I'm doing it faster. You may want to take your time, but at the same time, remember that um, it's gonna be super small. Those little details, no one's gonna be like, oh, he cut it weird, but still try to stick to the inside. Whoops, completely messed up there, but that's fine. I can just go over it and go do these, do these, do these. I do have a tablet, but I am drawing with my mouse right now. Boom, okay, do the same thing. Try on the inside. Try to get as little as possible of the background color because you want your stuff to be on a transparent background. Um, you want it to be well visible on the Twitch normal mode, which with the back black background, we're gonna cut this by the way. And you want it to be quite visible with the dark mode. gonna go and there you go see it doesn't require this isn't talent this is just me dragging my mouse around all right once you have this it's even even simpler in Photoshop you can just go to the scissors to the cut tool thing whatever it is and click cut boom you have your transparent background now go to image click resize or control R and uh, make sure that you don't have maintain aspect ratio um, selected so take that off and uh, go 112 by 112. Boom. And save as. Make sure it's PNG. Let's go to emote 2, 23 or something, whatever. Just call this one 112. Just click OK. The default uh, is going to be automatic. It's going to find the best settings for you. Resize. Uh, we said 56 by 56. I hope I'm not wrong with those um, values. I haven't uploaded an emote in a while. Save as or control shift S, I think. Call this one 56. See, you have bit depth and, and the threshold and stuff. You don't care. Just press OK. The automatic settings should be fine. And resize finally 28 to by 28. And let's go ahead and save that, call it 28, press enter, press enter, and you have it. So that's it, guys. This is how you can create emotes based off of your face. You can make any type of face that you want um, and then upload them to Twitch. Remember, you have to go to uh, dashboard and then settings and scroll down, go to emoti em emoticons, emoticons, the emotes. Does it say emoticons or, or emotes? Give me a second, chat. I'm calling you chat now. Awesome. 
emoticons. It actually says emoticons. And the, basically, this is how you do it. If you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer each and every one of them. If you need some overlays for cheap or for free, uh, go to gumroad.com slash level. I have a bunch of them there. I'm talking about like full overlay packs with starting starting soon, uh, be right back, ending screen, um, avatars, bio panels, banners, and all of that like for 99 cents, okay? And some of them are actually free. So go, go there and download them. I'm getting tired, chat. Thank you so much for watching. Gaia Level, out.